Hello, I uploaded a video to YouTube the other day and then went back to look at it, you know, all's well, and I went back to look at it and realised it had picked the most random screenshot from the video to use when it sort of paused. And I thought, well that's just not very helpful, is it? So, to this question, why does my YouTube video pick a random screenshot as a still image? I mean, this is what it looks like, and it looked rubbish. You know, there's there's nothing there to tell you what it's about, there's nothing there to explain anything. Like, what, of all the things to pick, why would you pick that? It's just not helpful at all. After all, I mean, what's the point in trying to brand yourself if no one sees it? It just doesn't help. So, I did what any sensible person would do, and I asked my Facebook friends. I put a little status update to go, uh, help? Why does it show this? Is it something daft that I've done? Because, to be fair, it was my first video, entirely likely that I've done something daft. Someone will be able to help me with this. Turns out, YouTube actually gives you the option of three thumbnails that you can use, but only three thumbnails. Not only that, YouTube picks those thumbnails. You actually have no control over the ones that are picked. Although I think if you're a YouTube partner or something, then you get some sort of special privilege. I'm not, so that's obviously not accessible to me. So clearly, I need to find another option. I mean, you know, I haven't had all this graphic design created for people to then not see it. So let me show you how that I found the where the three thumbnails are and then changed my video to one that was at least better than the one I just showed you on the previous slide. So if we pop on over to our YouTube channel and just sign in, go to your channel. So just pop into the old drop down box and go to channel. You will see that my video is updated from the one that I showed you on my PowerPoint presentation because I <laughs> once I worked out how to change it, I was changing it. So at least now, I mean, the one that I've picked, I mean, you can see it here. You know, you've still got my header and then this one, luckily, I actually have my blog link in it because it's near the end of my video. So that's a lot better. If you saw this somewhere else, at least you're still seeing my branding. And that is how the whole point, really. So we go over to our settings. So in the drop down, do settings. And then my videos and playlists. I mean, you'll see, obviously, once you've uploaded more videos, you'll actually see there's a, a longer list of them here. I've just got the one at the moment, obviously. I mean, by the time you're watching this, you never know. I might have millions of videos up there and have taken over the whole of YouTube with a load of purple nonsense. If you click here on Edit Info, you just scroll down a little bit. You've got, you know, the title, description, the tags, all of these things you've put in. Pop down a little bit more, and here you will see the three thumbnails that it picks for you. So this one here in the centre is the one that I did have. That's the one that it had automatically put on. And that doesn't tell you anything, does it? Ooh, you're reading mail in my Google inbox. Well, that's not exciting. It doesn't tell you very much. You know, and at a glance, you've got no real idea what it's about. I mean, ideally, I'd like to have you know a front page that says, this is a video tutorial, as the front of my video does. But, unfortunately, that's not one that I can pick from here. So, I mean, you'll see I've picked this third one because it's got my, my blog header and it's got my blog link as well. Just click on the one that you think is better of the three. Hopefully, I mean, it's a bit of a lesser of three evils, unfortunately. But pick the one that you feel is best for you. And then pop one up to the top and hit Save Changes. And then it says up here, Video Details Have Been Updated. Now, mine did take about 24 hours before it would actually change over to having this new front to it. But it does then show the same way on everything. So if we just pop to my blog for a moment. So my, my blog post has actually got it embedded within it. If we just scroll down a little, you'll see here on this one here, it has also pulled through the new screenshot as the front for it. So again, I mean, that's looking a lot better. So whether I put this on Facebook or whether I have it on LinkedIn or whether it's linked on Twitter or whether I'm bringing people back to my blog or even on YouTube itself, at least this way, I'm actually still using some of my branding, which obviously is the whole point and looks a lot better than just, you know, I mean, the previous one of just, ooh, here's an email in my inbox. You know, how exciting is that? So don't forget to just check back and make sure that it does actually update. I say mine did take about 24 hours to update, so it's not the, the quickest thing to do. I mean, that will do for a temporary solution, but it's not ideal. Because what if one of the three thumbnails just still isn't suitable or still doesn't have any sort of branding or any sort of description about what it is that you're doing? 
Ideally, you'd want to just be able to have a front page. You know, at the beginning of my video is what I want it to be, or, you know, here's this particular shot that I want to use to explain, you know, here's the next tutorial or something like that. Now, I have learned, when I ask my Facebook people all these questions, someone did actually tell me that Easy Video Player can actually do this for you. So, if you would like to know how Easy Video Player can do this for you, you're kind of going to have to wait for now until I've had a chance to play with it and find out. I've literally only just got Easy Video Player, so I haven't had a chance to play around with it yet. But if it's going to solve this problem, then great, bring it on. But I shall play around with it, and then I shall report back. So don't worry, whatever I find out, I will actually share with people on my blog, because it's a much easier thing to just keep it all in one place and then just bring people to it. So anything that I learn as I'm going through this journey, I will actually put on there. It'll just be a blog post, might even do a little video. Well, to be fair, if I'm doing Easy Video Player, it will be a video, because how else am I going to show it off? One of the best ways of doing it. So don't forget, you can just pop over to my blog, which is at nickystevens.com. Rather than having to remember to pop over to my blog to find out if I've updated anything or if any other videos or tutorials are on there, you can just sign up to my mailing list, which I've called Nikki's Notes, and then every time that I do a new blog update, I, I just send a very short, quick email out to my list just to let them know that it's there. Thanks very much for watching, and I will speak to you soon.